Olama versus LM Studio. We're also going to go over why people actually prefer Olama, even though LM Studio is very, very feature rich, very feature rich. So if you've seen everyone talking about Olama, but you're using LM Studio and you're wondering why, why all the hype? So we're going to break this, you know, friendly debate between two of the most popular local LLM runtimes. So LM Studio fans, actually, they love the clean, you know, GUI, easy, you know, drag and drop interface, fast setup. You can actually search, download, test, and also run a GGF models with just a few clicks. It even works great as a backend or for tools, basically, you know, any anything LLM. No weird command line stuff required. Okay, so it's very easy to use. And we'll also go over why Olama still has a cult following. Now, Olama, you know, first of all, look, it's open source, right? It's open source. And if you're a dev, you're a, a tinker, that's a big win. Secondly, actually runs models through simple you know, CLI commands like a llama run, um, llama three, and it makes it perfect for scripting or automation. And thirdly, as you can see here, we have a llama three and also a llama actually now supports a GGF models as well. So that's also a, a plus, right? And, and even third party ones outside its default index, contrary to some early confusion, it actually does all that. Meanwhile, LM studio does, you know, it does shine on Mac OS and supports, uh, you know, MLX models, which Olama doesn't. So, and yes, guys, the LM suit is actually partially closed source, which is a deal breaker for some in the FOSS community. But bottom line, guys, choose LM Studio if you want a plug and play GUI and easy model exploration. But choose Olama if you want a streamlined, scriptable backend that works well in dev communities, right? But in reality, Many, if you're, if you're a power user, many powers you actually run both, okay, depending on the use case. So the whole llama hype, I mean, it's not about being better. It's just better for some workflows. Anyways, let me know what you would pick in the comments below. If you appreciate this video, smash the like button and subscribe to Rapid Tips.